So I bring you and I gather you here today to talk about my fitness journey and some things that definitely helped me along my fitness journey. And I think they could help you too if you're willing to take a little, if you're willing to give me your ear, I got you. <laughs> Something that definitely helped me be more consistent. No, no. Consistency helped me in my fitness journey. Um, I, looking back, realized, like, had I just, like, taken myself more seriously when I started my fitness journey, I would probably be a lot just looking at how much progress I've made. Like, it does take time to make progress. So it's also... It's overall just about your consistency. Like, it's about your consistency in, you know, doing the workouts, the intensity, um, the, your eating habits, you know. And I used to look at consistency as like this thing to be afraid of. I think because I have daddy issues like if I say what do your daddy issues have to do with your consistency well I feel like when you have people in your life that kind of teach you like oh yeah I'm just gonna hop in and out I like I felt like I kind of treated myself like that like oh yeah I'm gonna show up for this journey sometimes I'm gonna show up sometimes and then I'm gonna hope and pray <laughs> for the rest of it like and it's sick that's not how it works you have to do the work like you have to go do the workouts and it's like I see it now like I understand I understand it now it makes sense now but like when I first started my journey and it's <laughs> but you feel me like and the goal is not to be skinny and that kind of leads into my next thing be your own body goals on this fitness journey you know, it's very easy to see the girls, girls giving it to them and the girls do be giving it to them on Instagram. But you are not the girls. You know what I mean? You, you. And I'm not saying you can't be the girls. I'm not saying, you know, because we could be the girls. Because I remember looking at the girls and I was like, I want to give it to the girls like that. You know what I mean? But really, it's about your body like yes we want to give it on instagram but in real life like be your own goals because that's what's also going to help you be consistent when you when i felt i feel like when i stopped when i stopped like looking at the girls on instagram and going like oh man like i'll never get there and then i i started being like you know what let me let me let me see what workout she doing let me see what she's doing. Let me try to do what she's doing. Okay, because it's like, she has two legs. She has two arms. I can do that too. Like, like I can do it too. If I put my mind to it. That's really what it is. So that's what I mean when I say be your own body goals. Because it's real easy to get caught up in this whole Instagram thing. I do it. Trust me. No judgment. But I'm saying, like, if you're going to, this is for you. Make this about you. And you won't be all right um what else consistency be your own body goals and overall just change your perspective around working out like when i stopped looking at working out as this like grueling experience and i started looking at it as a way to like repay my body like you know my body woke me well i didn't wake my body up today but source god woke me up today and because he woke me up today or she for, for whoever believes that to be true but because he I, that's what i believe um he woke me up today i'm gonna go move my body i'm gonna go show my body some love because when i go show my body love my body transforms into the body that I want okay that's what happens so when I started looking at it like that I was like oh we gotta go to the gym like now I'm excited to go to the gym because it's like I know I'm gonna see some results 
I know I'm gonna see some results. I know I'm gonna see some. And you know what? When I see them results, I'm gonna go back and then go back again so I can see more results. Yeah, y'all. So be consistent. Be your own body goals. And um, what else? What the fuck did I just say? Be consistent. Oh, yeah. Mindset shifts. Mindset shifts. Change how you think about working out. Change how you feel about yourself usually if you're feeling any kind of like insecurity or any kind of way about yourself it is usually related to some sort of thing that happened to you in your childhood you know it's usually related to some sort of childhood trauma now i used to think trauma went away as I aged. I used to think like my childhood trauma was just gonna like, boop, it was just gonna disappear. Like, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> what happens is it gets stored in your body and it makes you depressed and it makes you not be your best self. So yeah, go, go, you know, we can't do that. You see why we can't do that? Cause we don't have that kind of time, babe. Like, we don't have that kind of time. Like, this our one time here. Right? So, don't waste your time not being your best self. You feel me? Like, don't do that. Don't waste your time not being your best self. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't have to listen to me. Who am I? I'm just a girl with a camera. All right? But that's the word. Yes, that's the word. Come here, girl. Naya. And I'm going to talk to y'all in the next video. Peace out. Love y'all.